The late Dr. Edgar Mitchell, an Apollo 14 astronaut who walked on the moon, said this about our next guest. Francis is brilliant, a brilliant advanced thinker and an international treasure, bringing hope and inspiration to those who seek the path out of illness to sustained health and well-being. Raymond Francis is a chemist by training, a graduate of MIT, a New York Times best-selling author, a world-class speaker, an internationally recognized leader in the field of optimal health and maintenance. Hi, I'm Raymond Francis. I'm a chemist by training. I'm a graduate of MIT. What are the four worst things you can have in a diet? Sugar, wheat, processed supermarket oils, and milk and dairy products. Okay. Now look, now people are like, whoa, whoa, dairy? Isn't whoa. dairy do your, make your bones strong? Isn't wheat like, you know, wheat is... Uh, the staff of life. Get the wheat out of your life and get the processed oils out of your life. Um, see, wheat historically was a, a good grain, but what we've done is we've hybridized it, we've increased the protein content in the wheat, and two of the proteins are uh, gluten and another type of protein called lectins. Both of these are very toxic to the human body, so we've taken the wheat and increased the poison content of the wheat, so it's having a very bad effect on us. Wheat is a deadly poison, and nobody should be eating it. Now, we think of wheat as the staff of life, uh, but um, actually no grain. We, we really shouldn't eat grains. So humans were not designed to eat grains, but we started eating them about 10,000 years ago, and then health started to go downhill after that. Approximately half the population is allergic to wheat, and they don't know it. And, and that's a really bad thing because uh, you're suffering an allergic reaction, your body is jumping through hoops even though you don't know it. Biochemically, you're putting a huge load on your body and this is making you more susceptible to infection, uh, more susceptible to colds and flu, and more susceptible to cancer. But here's the real problem. The wheat we're eating today is not the wheat our ancestors were eating. The wheat we're eating today is hybridized. It's been hybridized to increase the protein content of the wheat. Well, uh, guess what? There's uh, the part of the protein content is um, the molecules, proteins called gluten. Well, as it turns out, gluten is very allergenic to humans. And so what we've done is we've created high gluten wheat. So gluten is very allergenic and we've created wheat that's very allergenic, and that's why half the population is allergic to wheat. Okay, so this is just in the last uh, 50 years or so? No, it's the last uh, last couple of hundred years. Okay. That we've hybridized the wheat, but they keep hybridizing, you know, they want higher and higher protein. By the way, I noticed when I looked at a bag of pizza flour, it's called high gluten flour, so <laughs> pizza flour has even more gluten in it. Uh, right. Well, 2,000 years ago, they didn't have the high gluten flour. Uh, or even 400 years ago, they didn't have the high gluten flour. But now they do. And if you look epidemiologically uh, at different countries, we find that the wheat-eating countries have much more inflammatory disease than countries that eat other grains, such as rice or millet. 